Hi, this is Kyle Lee, Senior Construction Solutions Specialist with ATG USA. And we're back today for another technical talk video in our series providing a high level overview of the different tool sets available in the Autodesk Build module. So we're going to be covering two sections in today's video, and those two sections are going to be our members section and our settings section within Autodesk Build. So if you haven't already done so, please log into acc.autodesk.com and select the appropriate build project that you'll be working on. You should land in the home screen right here. And then the first thing we we'll want to do to go to the members area is just click on the members icon here on the left hand side of the screen. The members area, this is a very self-explanatory, but uh, again, this is just the area where we'll see the members that have been added to our project. We also have the ability to add new members by clicking the add members button here. We'll need to input the email addresses. Um, we can enter in the company name, which is optional and the role, which is optional for that person. And then we can also assign them as a project member or a project administrator. Then we also have the ability to turn on services for the products that have been purchased by that member and that they might be using on the project. So once we populated that information, the invite button would light up and then we'd be able to hit invite and that person will be added into our project. The other thing that we can do from the members page is if we have members of the project or people that have been added to the project that need to be removed from the project, we can also do that from here on the members page. And what we would do to accomplish that would just be come over here. And as we can see, we have the three dot ellipsis on the far right. And if we click on that, we see that we do have the ability to remove a member from the project as well. So that covers at a high level the members area within Autodesk Build. So the next section that we wanted to take a look at here within Build is the settings area. And so settings are pretty much self-explanatory. When you land in the settings area, we're going to see the, the project settings. And we can see, so we'll see our project name, the type of project that it is, physical address, and any of the other information that we set up during the project creation process. That could also include a project number and project um, value, the time zone, and the anticipated start and end dates for our project as well. And if we need to edit any of that information, we can click the edit button here. Okay. The next thing that we'll see here is we're going to see our locations tab. This is where we can set up locations on the project. So, for example, setting up our different areas, whether it's for um, multiple towers on a project, but most importantly, being able to set up different areas based on the individual floors for the project itself. Now, we do have the ability to set up locations manually, or we can download an Excel template file that we can populate and then import to create our locations for the project here as well. And the last thing that we're going to see here on the settings tab is the notifications setting. And so this is just going to allow us to uh, essentially alter the rate at which re we receive notifications from the Autodesk Construction Cloud system related to issues, RFIs, sheets, or submittals. And we also have the ability, if we hit this check mark box here, that would then allow each project member to change their own notification settings. And so as you can see here by default, everything is set with the frequency of instantly, meaning if a new issue, RFI sheet, or submittal were added to the project, we would be updated regarding that. We would get a notification. Specifically, if we have an issue in RFI or a submittal that has been assigned into our name. When it comes to our frequency settings, we have the ability to drop that down and make changes. We can change our frequency from instantly to hourly and or daily. So uh, for some people that may not want to constantly be pinged uh, by emails that might be coming out because they know there's a lot of new information being added to the project, they may go in and want to change their frequency of update to hourly or daily. I typically keep mine at instantly just so I'm always aware of the latest changes that are taking place on the project and so I know if there's something that's been assigned in my name that I need to respond to quickly. So. 
team, that covers the settings area within Autodesk Build. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.